Hello, just a really quick video today talking about workload and how to use workload to plan your capacity within your team. So by default, Asana uses the number of tasks that each person has to plan within a portfolio, to plan the work within a portfolio. So if we look at Carly, we can see that she's got one task, whereas Emily, for example, has four. What that doesn't tell us or give us any clue about is how much time that work's gonna take. So the first thing that we wanna do is um, make sure that the project that we're working on has estimated an actual time. If you want to do this, you can click customize and then there'll be a button here inviting you to add those if they're not already added. However, they are added. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to put estimated time in for each of these. We're just going to put three hours for everything just because um, it's easier. Ooh, two hours for that one. Who was at the top? I forget. Mm, I think Emily was there somewhere, wasn't she? So now if we jump back to uh, the portfolio and look at workload, we can see that we have this thing here called add effort. And what we can actually do is change it so that rather than using the number of tasks, we use estimated time. We click here, estimated time, click next, and it will add estimated time to all projects in the demo portfolio. So we can then say how many hours each person works um, and any exceptions to that. So let's have a quick look down here. So actually, I don't know, let's say Charlie only works 20 hours a week. We can edit that here. And once we're happy with all the values that are entered in for each person, we can set capacity. What you'll see is that that changes. So um, Cole has seven hours available each week, but now she only has two hours work. Emily has uh, seven hours, sorry, uh, each day, but now she only has three hours work. If we are to click back into the project, what I can do is show you very briefly what it would look like for somebody who's heavily over-resourced. So let's say, for example, on Friday, Coral is going to be working on this piece of work. It's going to take her 25 hours. If we then jump back to uh, the workload, we can see that she is appearing to be very, very red. So um, that's because she's got 25 hours of work, but only seven hours, um, sorry, only seven hours of capacity in the day. If we want to, what we can then do is either move that to other people, someone who does work 25 hours a day, or we can actually move it across a number of days. So let's say she's going to be working on this for four working days. And then what you'll see is her estimated time goes to six hours, 15 a day, and that changes from red to blue. I hope that's useful. Any questions, as always, find me on LinkedIn, send me a message, comment here, whatever, and I will come back to you. Thanks very much.